Welcome design students. In this video, I'm going to show you how to composite your castle into a nice scene like this. And compositing is the process of taking two images and combining them. In this case, we have the 3D image of the castle that we created, and then we also have a background image. So let's get started. So as you can see here, I have my castle in my scene, and I have all of my objects that create that uh, make up my castle over here in my scene outliner. So the very first thing you need to do is select all of the objects that make up your castle. And you can click the first one and then hold down shift and click the last one. I didn't want to just do this because then I'll select the scene cameras and stuff and I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to select them in my outliner. So go to edit, group. And you can name this group if you want. So once we've done that, we need to find a background image. Now I went to Google and I searched Scottish Highlands and I found this one. Now you want to find one that is a good size and the one I found was um, a good size. It was 1280 by, nine, uh, what is that, 854. And you also want to find one that uh, doesn't have a lot of stuff in it. So you can see this one has a nice foreground. It's got a little house, but I'm going to put the castle on top of that. Like this would not be a good one unless you can fit your castle exactly over this to um, cover this castle. And, you know, you could do that. I'm not saying you can't. It's just a little tougher. But if, you're, if your image has a spot for your castle, then, um, you know, you can use it. So I'm going to go ahead and use the one that I had before. Actually, I might try this one. This is a little small, though. I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to go right-click, Save Image As, and I'm going to put that image in my project folder. And my project folder is right here and I'm going to put it in the source images folder. And now we need to create a camera and put that image as the background for that camera. Make sure I'm in the perspective view like so. And I'm going to frame my castle sort of in the middle of the scene and kind of away a little bit. And then I'm going to go to View, and I'm going to Create Camera from View. And that creates a new camera that's called Perspective 1 here. So I'm going to double-click this camera and name it Render Cam. And then with Render Cam selected, I'm going to come over to the Attributes Editor, and I'm going to click the Render Cam Settings. And then I'm going to scroll down in the settings, and I'm going to find Environment. I'm going to open up environment and we're going to click this create button here. And once we do, that creates an image plane that's aligned with this camera. And then we're going to click the image folder here and find that background image that we saved. And here it is in my source images folder. And now we have the image in the scene as a background. Now when I select my render cam and I move my view, I'm not moving the castle here, I'm moving my view of it. Okay, so let's move this over here. And we're going to try to align the ground plane, the grid here, with the ground that is visible in the scene. We can hide the grid by clicking this button here so we can get a good view. And I think that makes sense right there. If I try to put it over here on the trees, then the trees are going to have to come up around it, and I'm going to have to take that into Photoshop and do something different. If I put it in the foreground, then it will look too small. So once we've done that, we need to put some lighting in the scene so it will kind of match the, um, the background here. 
So to do that, we need a skylight, and we're going to use an Arnold skylight. So go to the Arnold menu and select light, Arnold sky dome light. And then for the color of the sky dome light, we're going to find an image and put it on our sky dome that match, sort of matches this scene here. And that will run the lighting of our castle scene. So what we're going to do is go to a website called Polyhaven. It's called Polyhaven. And when you go there, you can search for HDRIs. And then I used Outdoor. And I think I grabbed this one here. When you find the one you want, and once you're there, you can simply click download. You can select different resolutions of the image and different file types. EXR is fine. Just click download and make sure you put it in the source images folder of your castle project folder and click save. And then when we return to Maya, select the sky dome light, come over to the color slot, click the little checkerboard, select 2D textures file, click the folder, just like we've done before when we create textures, and select that EXR file. And that will put a sky dome around the scene here. And in order to see the effect of this light, we need to come up here to our viewport settings and click this button right here. And then we can play with the exposure so that it looks like it belongs in the scene. Now to make it look even more like it belongs in the scene, we can create a ground plane here that will catch the shadows but not be visible. And let's do that by going to poly modeling, create a plane, and then you're going to scale that plane up, make it big enough to catch the shadows of your castle, and then come over to the poly plane node in the attributes editor and just give it one width and height segment or subdivision. And now we're going to put a special material on this that will catch the shadows but not be visible when rendered. And that material is called a matte shadow material or a shadow matte material. So select the plane and then right click in the scene, assign new material, go to Arnold and select AI shadow matte. And you won't be able to see the effect because you can only see it when Arnold is active. So let's activate Arnold in the renderer view in the viewport renderer. And you will see that the ground plane is not visible, but the shadows from it are. You will also see that the skylight sort of impinges on our background. To fix that, we need to select the skylight in the attribute in the scene outliner and come over here to the visibility menu menu item and grab the camera node and dial that back down all the way to zero. Now the skylight's still visible in the scene here and it looks a little weird. That's because it's selected in the outliner. If I just click in a blank space in the outliner and deselect it, you can see that it disappears. But to see how it runs the lighting in the scene, you can select the skylight, either in the outliner or by clicking in a blank space beyond the image plane. And then you can rotate it around the y-axis and you can see how the lighting, how the skylight is running the lighting. And you can also see how the uh, shadow moves around on your shadow mat plane. As you can see right now here, my shadow is coming out across the water. So you may need to adjust it a little bit, and if you do, again, select it, select the sky dome light, and then rotate it in the y-axis to change the lighting a little bit if it needs to uh, be changed. And I rotated mine a little bit because uh, these bushes here sort of are dark on this side and the foreground, and light on this side as are the trees, and I think this matches that better. So once we've done that, all we need to do is change the render settings, and so you click this button here and bring that up and then we're going to change our image format to JPEG 
I'll scroll down here and find the image size and change that to HD 720. And then we can close that. And then we can open up the Arnold render view and click render. Now clearly I have a problem here. You can see that my um, castle is in the lake. So to fix that for me, I'm just going to move the castle up a little bit so that it sits on the ground like I had it before. And I'm actually not moving the castle. Remember, I'm just moving my view. Now why there's a mismatch there, I have no idea. But once you get that set, if you have to, then you're going to go File, Save Image, and just save it to your desktop. And then you can upload it to this assignment. And that's how you composite your castle into a real-life scene. And I'll see you in the next video.